It's more zany than Gilligan's Island. More adventurous than Lost in Space. Stand by for Sabrina's biggest secret is about to be revealed. Tonight, 7.30. Today on 11am, mutiny. Is this the end of one nation? And the very latest from the Greg Norman Holden Invitational Golf. This is 11am, Friday, the 5th of February. Hello and good morning and welcome to another edition, Friday's 11am. How are you, Andrew? I'm very well. I'm not as well as you. And, and dare I say, you're creeping ahead of me slowly in the age thing. Happy birthday to you this morning. A very special day. Thank you so it much. It is, because life begins at 31, it doesn't it? It certainly does. Is that what they say? That's right. Just stop there. Is that Hold how it goes? That Roger Clemson's on the program today, one of Australian TV's most enduring stars. Look forward to that. Also, we welcome Australian actor Alex Dimitriades on the show. We'll tell you why he's here after. And of course, uh, the golf news and the music news this morning with the return of Club Veg. So quite a program. Absolutely, and Melissa Doyle's here as well with all the news. Good morning to you both. Happy birthday. Thank you very much. <laughs> it's a good day. Very Absolutely. exciting. All right, good morning everyone. Well, the International Olympic Committee has failed in its plans for a tough new anti-drugs policy to cover the Sydney Olympics. At the end of its anti-drugs summit in Switzerland, the IOC failed to introduce a blanket ban for first-time drug cheats or establish a worldwide anti-doping agency. The International Olympic Committee has been meeting in Lausanne to formulate official drugs policy in the lead-up to the Sydney Games. The final anti-doping document, a case of win some, lose some. The IOC supporting a tough two-year ban for drug cheats, but at the same time allowing the sports of soccer, cycling and tennis to apply for different and in some cases lesser penalties. I certainly um, uh, would have preferred that if there were no strings attached, but I do understand the complexities that three of the sports face. The document also leaves most responsibility no, for dealing with first-time offenders with international yeah, sporting me. federations, much as it is now. Doping really is a medical problem affecting uh, the health of the athletes. But uh, it is also an ethical problem, therefore a problem of all our society. It's a blow for some hardliners within the movement, like Britain's Princess Anne, who wanted a tough stand on drugs in sport. But for Australia's Olympic chief, John Coates, a compromise he's willing to live with. I don't underestimate just how difficult it is for um, some of these super professional sports and um, uh, they are part of the family and um, we've got to help them um, and I, I think it's a good outcome. Those attending the summit agreed to setting up a new global doping agency to be operating in time for the Sydney Olympics. Matt Carden, 7 News. The one